Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the window expert. I'm here with Brandon Stegman. Brandon, thank you so much for being a part of this video. Absolutely. We're standing in our beautiful showroom here in Houston, Texas, where we have over a dozen brands of windows and doors to choose from. And I want to show you one of our products and answer some questions that we get often out in the field. But before we do, I want to tell you that if you don't live in Houston and you're looking for a great window company, check out my website, thewindowexperts.com. I've got a great list of window companies all over the U.S. I can put you in the right direction. So Brandon, you sell windows for Houston Window Experts. You've been an installer for how long? Six years or so. Six years, and then he moved into sales with us. And one of the areas that you specialize in is the impact rated and hurricane areas of Texas, correct? Correct. And that's pretty much what, this along the coastline and those areas? Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. so you get a question all the time. I heard it and I thought, I wanna to come to you because he does this all, every day. People say, okay, do I have to have an impact rated window? And we're gonna discuss what that is. Or can I just get a approved window, but it's not impact rated? Do you ever get that question? All the time. Okay, so let's start by saying, what's the difference between an impact rated window and just a non-impact rated window? So an impact window has a laminate film that is sandwiched by two pieces of glass. That's what makes it an impact. So as something was to hit that glass, it can't penetrate through. The difference with a non-impact window is just two normal, regular annealed pieces of glass are tempered in some, some instances, but there's no laminate film. So if something was to hit that glass, there's a possibility it could go into the house. So I found a piece while you were talking. Perfect. I had it right there. So you can see here how this actually is a double pane piece of glass, right? Like a double pane window. This is just what we call annealed glass, which means it's not tempered and it's just regular glass. And then this is tempered glass, but in between those two layers of tempered glass, you can see there's like that sort of like chalky looking thing. Now you don't see it when you look at it, but that's the liner you're talking about in there. It's called a PVB liner. And that would make this impact rated glass. Yes, sir. Right, okay. Now impact rated glass is only a part of it though because aren't there some differences also with the frame of the window? Right, so you also have to have proper DP ratings. DP stands for design pressure. And that determines how much force a window can be pushed on or pulled on. So both in windstorm areas have to have a, a certain DP rating, but impact is always gonna be higher DP ratings. So if I go to um, different parts of the coast, right? they're gonna have different requirements. Like if I live on Galveston, for example, where I'm directly facing the water, mm -hmm. that's gonna be different than if I'm 15 miles in. It's all based on location. Location, so, so what we have is we have a tool that we use, right, with your address, we can look up what zone you are in within the windstorm areas mm -hmm. to determine what kind of windows you need. So let's suppose that I'm in an area that requires me to have one of the highest, strictest standards, and I say, Okay, I like that window, Brandon, and I love this laminated glass idea, but gee, that really kicked the price up because it does kick the price up considerably to do that. Do I have any other options? You could get what's called debris protection, and that can be in the form of steel panels, aluminum panels, or even plywood. That's okay. another option. So the, the goal is, so if we had a storm, uh, then and you were at home, for example, because people leave when there's right. a storm coming, if, if your windows, you don't want anything to penetrate that window, like you don't want patio furniture or a picket off of a uh, fence or something mm -hmm. to penetrate that window because if you're up in Dallas at your brother-in-law's house for a week and it, and it got broken and now it's raining for a week, then you come home to like a house full of water. A mess. And yeah. the insurance company says, well, dude, if we're going to assume the risk of you having a house in Galveston and we're going to assume the risk, then we're going to set some standards, which is why TDI... Texas Department of Insurance sets these guidelines for what a window has to have. Is that exactly. correct? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you're telling us is, and because here's two examples, this is a Vistamark window mm -hmm. that is non-impact. Now it's right. approved, but it's not an impact rated window. And then this is the NT window, which is an approved for impact rated window. Mm -hmm. So I could put this one up and no wind debris protection, but if I wanted to do this one, I could, but you have to have debris protection. You need to have debris protection, okay. So we did a great video about the levels of debris protection and what your options are. There's a little link to it up here and also down in the description. Go there and watch so you know exactly what your options are. But there are going to be some benefits to having uh, impact rated over non-impact rated with debris protection. Can you think of one? I can think of one. Well, storing the debris protection could be some trouble. 
uh, especially if you have plywood, that stuff is so large, especially if you have large openings, storing that stuff could be a hassle. Well, and guess what happens? When do you have to put it up? Right the before storm's the storm's coming, right yep. before the storm's yep. coming. And what happens right before the storm comes? It starts to rain mm -hmm. and the wind starts to blow. Exactly. So can you imagine being on a three-story house with a ladder? I don't want with to. With a four by eight <laughs> sheet of plywood? <laughs> yep, don't want to. <laughs> so so and if you say, oh no, I'll hire my, uh, my yard guy and does it. Okay, well how many yards does he cut? And how many people are hiring the yard guy to hang it up, right? Uh -huh. So we've heard these horror stories. Um, another good reason I think of is like, I talked to a guy, he bought windows from me in Galveston. He wanted the impact rated because he said, Jeff, we're only down there like maybe one week in a month. And he said, if I hear a storm's coming, he said, I don't want to drive all the way down there to put my wind debris protection up. What if I get stuck down there? Because mm -hmm. there's one bridge, you know, there's like one way in and out of the island. So there's a lot of good reasons to buy impact rated versus non-impact rated. Oh, and by the way, people ask all the time, you know, well, if it breaks, is that an insurance claim? Yes, it's insurance claim. If the window breaks, it's not part of the warranty because it's expected to break. The difference is it'll break, but it won't allow the water and the wind to come through. Mm -hmm. All right. So how's it going out there? You find a success? People love the products? Absolutely. We have uh, several options to choose from. So if you need, give us a shout. We've got black windows, we've got white windows, we've got almond windows, we've got windows with grids, without grids, mm -hmm. lots of different sizes. But yeah, we can definitely help people if they have a windstorm question. That's right. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget, come by and check us out. I'd like to have Brandon come out to your house if you live in a windstorm area and you want to see what options we have available. If you're not in this area, don't forget, check out thewindowexperts.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you, Brandon. You're welcome. Appreciate your help.